Hey everybody, my name is Sully and I only know three things, four things, four things, four things. One, quadcopters. I know all about. Just get that out of the way. Two, bath bombs. You know those things you get from Lush where you drop them in the tub? Bath bombs. I know all about those things. Holy cow, women, y'all been, man. Ooh. Three, coffee. I know all about coffee and four movies. Number one with quadcopters. If you're worried about these new regulations coming up, let's make it very easy for you. We'll make it very easy. Watch the video down below by XJet. I forgot the guy's name, but he's been in the RC business longer than anybody. And he had the only, the only, not Ken Heron, not Joshua Bardwell, but dude in the link down below, he had the only reasoned response to the new regulations and that is number one don't go crazy and don't write to your your congress don't write to the faa and start screaming at them because you're just going to get put into the pile that says this guy's a dumbass so don't don't do that and number two calm down like seriously there's 60 days reason your response go respond and you know that's the only way to make a difference in this law it's a terrible 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 regulation we know that we're in this. We see it every day. We know that it's terrible, but going off the deep end, ranting and riot, just going crazy, like I know you want to do. I mean, shoot, I don't want to say what my true thoughts are on it. My goodness, my true thoughts, it's crap. But if I say that, nobody's going to listen. So watch the video down below. That guy has the only, the only reasoned response to this whole FAA drama thing. It's driving me crazy that people are going so bad on it whenever it's not going to take effect for years. They're crafting the law right now. They're crafting regular, you knew regulations were coming. You knew it. You knew, you, you, there is no way you didn't know it. There's just no way you didn't know that something was going to go down. And yeah, it's going to favor the wealthy because they're the ones who pay. And I hate that. Like it drives me crazy, especially when as a hobbyist, it's, it's, it's crap. But Saying that to someone in power is going to get you relegated to that little bin that they put for the crazy jerk off who is just going insane. So don't do it. Watch the video down below. Think up a reasoned response on why this is the way it is, on how it's going to be, and then go from that response. Don't go off your first because it's not going to go well. And then calm down. You're probably fine for three more years before any of this stuff takes the effect. And in three years from now, you have no clue. You have no clue what three years is going to do to this hobby and to the regulations and to everything else. You just have no clue. So watch his video and comment. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know. Let me know. I would love to know. I'm trying to get my thoughts together so I can write, you know, just as everyone else, put my input in. But for right now, it's like, just, just absorb, watch videos, you know, watch some things, but not everyone on YouTube is a legal scholar. Not everyone has an idea on how things work. And like, there's just uh, tensions are too on it. So that gets me out of the way. Number one, number two, bath bombs. Holy cow. So someone told me on YouTube, like one of the only ways to make money and trust me, I know my money, my channel is monetized and I make about 68 cents a day. So views are meh for me, me, I'm small, but that's okay. I actually do fairly well with affiliate links, but someone said, Hey, why don't you sell something? And I'm like, what do I know that I like to sell other than quadcopter stuff? I, I could sell my knowledge. Um, that'd be good. If you want to buy me some coffee, that, that would be great. Let me know. Someone's like, what should you, you, you gotta sell something. You gotta have some merch. And since I don't have merch, really, I have affiliate links. So if you want my big coffee mug, that is currently back there. It's late at night and I can't do coffee because I'm coming off the sickness, but that's okay. Um, someone said, why don't you do bath bombs? Cause you make the best dang bath bombs ever. And if you don't know what a bath bomb is, you're missing out. You're missing out. And if you don't use one, that's okay. Cause I'm sure the lady in your life uses one. And if she doesn't use one and you introduce her to it, or the man in your life. There's no judgment here. This is a no ju judgment free zone right here. But if you introduce the person in your life to a bath bomb, oh my God. Oh, that is like heaven. I mean, and who knows bath bombs better than me? So if you want a sully bath bomb, let me know. Cause I, I really just want to see if, in, if there's even a market for it. I don't, I don't know that there is. And if you don't know what they are, they're just little, they're balls of just joy. You drop them in the bathtub and then poof, 
you have an oasis to take you away. It's so good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Which gives me number three, coffee. And uh, I roast my own coffee. So if you want to try Sully's Coffee Roast, let me know. I want to know, like, would anyone really want to try this? I make it small batch, six ounces, six to eight ounces at a time. Let me know if you want to try it. It's really good. Um, I, my favorite happens to be a medium roast, but I do make a dark espresso type. And uh, yeah, let, let me know. Let me know. Gets me to the fourth thing, which are movies. Because I'm sick of seeing crappy movies. And I'm sick of wasting time on crappy movies. So I'm going to go through a couple of them just off the top of my head on movies you need to see or don't see. All right. Number one, someone said, hey, what about The Village? And I'm like, M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong? No, get that shit off my TV. Just no, no, ain't nobody wants to see The Village. Number two, anything by M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong. He made four good movies. And actually he made one good movie and then a trilogy that should be just one movie. But let's, let's break it down. Devil, Devil's a good movie. It's okay, it's, it's good, it's watchable. It has a great premise, works great. Uh, it's just, it's worth watching. So Devil, thumbs up, all right? The Shamalama Ding Dong trilogy I'm talking about is Unbreakable, Split, and Glass. Unbreakable, eh, it's like two hours too long, but it has Dude, um, whatever Dude's name is, it, and it's okay. But I swear to God, like a guy who doesn't know if he ever been sick in his life, like you made a whole movie, you could have just said, hey, this guy doesn't get sick in his life, but you didn't. But, all right, when you get the Split, that has Professor X. It was made well by Professor X. So whenever you see Professor X on the screen, you're like, dang, oh, the younger X, not the older X. Although Picard would have been good at it, you know, but we're, we're talking like Professor X. So when you see him in, in Split, thumbs up. Whenever you get to Glass, you got Professor X and Samuel L. Jackson and Die Hard Guy. When you see them together, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But all three of those could have been one movie. Now, someone else said, what about The Visit? And I'm like, are you, why is it with Shamalama Ding Dong movies? Like, no, not The Visit. Who drops their kids off? No, no they're, they're, they're her grandmother, not that, the grandparents. Like, what the freak, man? And, and five seconds of that movie, it gets me to the other one, which is freaking, what's that, Sixth Sense. If you watch The Sixth Sense and you're thinking at, at any point after the first probably minute and a half of that movie that, is that guy dead? Like, he got stabbed God knows how many times. If that's, the, the, yeah, how did you not know he was dead? Come on. Star Wars. You got the original trilogy from the 70s, which is actually 4, 5, and 6. 4, 5, and 6, if you have the mentality of anyone over like 9 or 10 years old, that's about where 4, 5, and 6 are. About 9 or 10. And then you go 1, 2, 3, and it drops that mentality down to about 6 or 7 years old. Because the thing, it's a, you, you're talking pee wipes, and you're talking like undeveloped plot lines, and I am your father. Come on. Like, who didn't know that? Who didn't see that coming? My goodness. And then you get to this latest trilogy. I'm, all I've got to say about the latest trilogy is that it makes me miss Jar Jar Binks. Okay? I'm not joking. Crap. Now, you want to talk good movies. Let's get away from the Shyamalan and Ding Dong. Let's get away from Star Wars. I love Star Trek. I'm a geek. I love sci-fi. But let's get to good, sci good movies. Robocop. I'd buy that for a dollar. It's good. Event Horizon. That's a good movie. Event Horizon. I don't have that much to say other than it is Lawrence Fishburne's best stuff since The Matrix. Or before The Matrix. I don't know. It's Lawrence Fishburne when Lawrence Fishburne was good and great. That gets me to the other Lawrence Fishburne and Keanu Reeves trilogy thing of uh, John Wick. Yes. 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 We need more John Wicks. We need more Event Horizons. We need more RoboCop. But not RoboCop 3. RoboCop 1. Yay. 2. Yay. 3. Eh -eh. Eh -eh. Eh -eh. Gets me on to another great movie called... What is that thing called? Spaceballs. Spaceballs. It's a fantastic movie. Spaceballs is actually what Star Wars should have been. If Star Wars became good, it would be Spaceballs. Okay? Spaceballs. Thumbs up. Knives Out. If you ever wanted to see Captain America as a jerk, Knives Out. Outstanding. I went into that movie expecting nothing and got really, really good movies. It was good. The Joker. The Joker. All right? The latest one that came out. I can't spoil anything for you about it because I did watch it. 
All I can say about that movie is it's dark. Like, good job, Joaquin Phoenix, but I probably won't watch it again. It was, it was actually great. It was mind-blowing performance, but it was a performance just to watch Joaquin Phoenix. So if you don't like him, you'd probably hate it. Like, that's the Joker. Moving on to that other big movie that was just out, Frozen 2. Like, what do you think I'm gonna say about Frozen 2? It's Frozen 2. It was actually fantastic. Thumbs up. So is Frozen 1. Maleficent Mistress of Evil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you watch that movie for anything, just, just watch that movie. Which takes me to another Jolie movie, Gia. G-I-A. It's an HBO original. It's before Jolie became Jolie. Well, she was still Jolie, but she was Jolie. So if you have not seen Gia, watch Gia. That's gonna do it for right now. I don't wanna ruin too many things, but if that takes up a few hours of your time to enjoy yourself, just remember RoboCop, Event Horizon, Gia, that'll get you through some hard times right there. Some really hard times. And you'll feel better at the end of it. A lot better at the end. But if you're watching Gia, by the way, you can stop at about the 45 minute mark. Like, it just gets really sad after that. So, first 45 minutes, second 45 minutes, a great storyline, but not, for some reason, I don't know why. It's just not as, as good after the first 45 minutes as it was uh, you know, it's just, it's not that, that first 45 minutes. I don't know why. I, I really just don't know why it wasn't as good after 45 minutes. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, but I will say it was a great movie and one I will always watch. So that's going to do it. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to try a bath bomb, let me know because I'll make some up. You might give them out as gifts. I just hit 1,710 subscribers. Thank you so much. Actually, I think that might be a good thing. I will make some bath bombs, give them out as gifts, or coffee. Let me know down below which one you'd prefer, and uh, let me whip up some. And I thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you stuck around this long, good job. Thank you. Once again, FAA regulations, right? But take your time. You got 60 days. And don't, don't go ranting, because it's not going to do you any good. It's not going to do me any good. It really isn't. I promise you. I promise you. It will not do either of us any good if you just go off the deep end and tell them how you really feel. Dear so-and-so, I want to, you can try my, me. it ain't going to work. Don't do it that way. Okay? Unless you got billions of dollars to, do, to donate, your rent ain't going to do jack. So, anyway. Coffee, bath bombs, FAA, and movies. Thank you so much. Hope y'all have a good one. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down if you want to. It's all good. There is no judgment here. Y'all have a good one.